Hey, psst, hey, psst, psst, come here. Some dark corner of some basement. We've got some sort of a uh, uh, journey. Blow the <sighs> ah, journey in the mix, huh? Yeah. Psst, come here, kid. Ooh. You know, yeah, why not? Yep, it is that time, folks. Rudy's tool is staying home for the day. And my patron, Tyler R, says, Rudy, will you take me to the journey? You're flipping straight. I will take you to that journey. Today, we're going to open, look at that. I just ripped through, yeah, use, my, use the power of the hair, folks. The power of the hair to say we will get the first God Pack on camera. That is our goal, folks. If we keep opening Journey in the Knicks, we will get a God Pack on camera. That is our goal. That is our goal because we schedule our casual events at my store. Remember, my goldfish is now a WPN store. Folks, welcome back to the, uh, not the Thunderdome. This is more practice session with the kids at the park. All right, folks. Good luck, Tyler. Thanks for being a good sport. Godspeed on the, uh... Terrible war chief guy, and you've got an octopus. Wow. And you've got a tip card to help you be better. And if she came with a tip, we would accept it. We would accept it. So, folks, let's see how things go here. Will we be the first person to get the God Pack on camera? We're going to keep trying. And harness by force next to your planes, and you get more tips. Tyler, so far, you are zero for two, sir. You've got nothing to show for the money that I've charged you $800 a booster box. Ah, the Knicks fleece ran, my favorite uncommon. Ah, uh, King Maka, good old gold Kurt. Everybody thinks that's me in the middle of the night surrounded by booster boxes. Yeah, well, it's probably true. Just because that's true doesn't mean you need to make fun of me. King Rudy, the gold cursed. Okay, all right. Slightless, Knicks fleece. And we're launching the fleet with Returned Reveler as our first, or I'm sorry, our second common foil. Well, we've got no mythics, and we've got no good rares, and we've got no good foils. So, so far, so good. And uh, extinguish all hope. We're uh, sitting at one dollar rare land, folks. Ugh, yikes. Everybody, uh, we may have to press F in the chat to pay respect for Tyler for getting pounded here, folks. Skybind, still slinging the one dollar rares. Okay, so, so far, expected value is 18 and a half pennies. And I'm going to charge you a 17 penny uh, service fee. So you act. Ugh. Minic Confluence coming back, folks. Our first heavy hitter. Man, great card. Great, great card. I'm surprised it's still that cheap. I mean, City of Brass, you know. Doomwake Giant. This card spiked for a while, came back down. I'm not sure if that's still a couple dollars or not. I know the old Dictator Erebos and a couple other ones are still doing real well, though. All right, folks, and we've got Sage of Hours, our first Nyx Mythic. And we've got a flying, creepy, Rudy guy with your ex. Okay, that's a terrible, terrible foil. Well, we got the Sage. That's our first Mythic. That is terrible. All right, well, uh, Tormented Thoughts and uh, Loch Ness Monster. Harvest Guard, nothing. Wow. So I think right now, the new goal of this video is to get the worst Knicks opening ever. Reveler, terrible. Terrible card. Flipping ridiculous casting cost for that card. Mechanic, not bad, but the casting cost is a joke. All right, Anna Johnny says, you know, we feel bad for Rudy's patron. So let's give him a mentor, folks. We got a Johnny, second most expensive card in the set. That's still, the first time I saw that third ability, and it told me to gain 100 life. I couldn't eat tacos for a week, folks. I couldn't eat tacos for a week. I had to grind them up into a smoothie and do liquid tacos, man. Couldn't believe the first time I saw that, that ability. Polymorph Rush with a really neat looking forest, actually. I bet that in foil would be really cool. And Rudy's got a Minotaur. So, eh, we've recovered a little bit. Because we got a Johnny and a Man of Confluence, but still we're missing. We need some good God cards, folks. Dictate of the Oheliod for the $1 bill. Uh, we still have not gotten a Foil Rare or Foil Mythic, so that is still anyone's game here. And, um... Alright, Temple of Epiphany. Not as good as Milady, but you know what? We'll take the Epiphany. First, one of two. You know, when those lands were in standard, man, 
Those were very, very popular. I believe those were the Scrylands, they called them. That was a real, those sold great. Master of the Feast. Man, that was a $5 rare and standard all day long. All night long. That's just, you know, I know. I'm trying out for American Rudy. Okay. Moving on, folks. We are going to get a game warden pulling in your deep. And we got to dictate with a bunch of nothing. So overall, this is feeling like a normal 4 or 5 out of 10 on the old booster box scale. Uh, Tyler, you're not getting pounded in the balls, but you're not doing that great. You're trying to hold the weight of this opening up, but you're just not quite getting there. You're just not quite pulling it off, my friend. Alright, moving on. Here we go. And Desperate Edelion, and there we go. Good old Krufiox, God of Horizons, our first decent God card. Okay, not bad. If we can get, if we can get kind of uh, God of Passage, maybe one more God, I think this will turn decent. We actually still have a chance. Temple of Milady, she showed up, and we got just Font of Fertility, beautiful foil, common but no good value. Yep, we're hitting right at the average booster box rating. This is about a five or six right now. We're hitting completely average numbers in the middle, and Angus of the Gods for nothing exciting. Not a blowout box, not a disaster. I'm still very curious to see what the foil is going to be. Still up in the air, everybody. And Twin Flame with nothing. The old Twin Flame, right? Knock off Splinter Tween. Did I just say Splinter Tween? I think I did. We had to get the bobs in here. That was that was inappropriate. All right, Battlefield. Thir ah. All right, I, I think we're trying to get the bad cards out of the way first. I think that's what we're going for, everybody. I feel that's the direction right now. And worst fears, ah, oh. ah, oh, that's the foil rare, ah, oh. well, there's our fourth mythic, there's the foil rare, folks, I think, uh, oh, I just, look, I can't even hold the pack at this point, I think that just kind of wrapped up box one, the foil rare, and the, uh, I for, you know, when I first decided to try to decide if this was actually going to be a good card, the card decide really confused me. And to this day, I can't decide if this is even a good card. But you know what? Back in the day, decide. People decide to spend 2 $3 for that card. I'm still trying to decide if they got ripped off or not. All right, folks. And Twin Flame Part 2. Again, on the Twin Flame. Well. Ah. See? Oh, come on. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, okay. <laughs> a second foil rare. With the exact same mythic from the beginning of the box. Alright, so this just went from a blah box to just hilariously insulting. Can you imagine if that was like a double, a Johnny or something? Silencing some believers and... Wow, what a weird opening. Double foil rare with two of the same mythic. Boy, that always makes you go, what? And the old siren. And a gigantic beast. You know, sometimes, everybody, you need a gigantic beast in your life to kind of make you feel alive, folks. Make you feel alive. Wildfire, brain maggots, and, of course, we got to have the Hydra. Wouldn't be a Magic the Gathering booster box without a flippin' Hydra. It's always got to be a Hydra, everybody. Wouldn't be Magic without a Hydra. All right, and let's see here. Mystic, pull from the deep, strength from the fallen. Ah, Dawnbringer chariots. All right, all right. Well, folks, we're down to the last couple packs in box one. I am still determined to get a god pack on camera, everybody. Dictator, really? What is going on? It's like the last chunk of this box was like a duplicate of the beginning of the box. What happens sometimes? It's creepy. King Mac Look at that. It's the exact same beginning of the box. These are the exact same rares from the first half of the box. Anybody even notice that? Super flipping weird. Temple of us. <laughs> Look at that. How weird is that? We've got the last six packs have been the same as the first, the beginning of the box opening. We got Silence the Believers again. It's like it just reset. Super creepy, man. It's weird when that happens. All right, everybody, and the Hydra Broodmaster. All right, well, we're gonna jump right into box two. Ah. Ah. Tyler, box one. Be honest with you. Call it how I see it, my friend. I think box one was just a straight up... Eh, what do you guys think? I think box one... I'm going to call it a 6 out of 10. Just because we got some decent rares. We got some duplicates on the Mythics. You know, eh, Fugazi. Not 
terrible, but really wasn't that amazing. Okay, well, box two, we're still going for the God Pack, folks. Worst fear, <laughs> Jesus, really? Well, another of the same worst fear. You are getting duplicate Mythic City. Here we go. We got double Mythics coming up across the board. Apparently, that's how we're going to be playing the ball today, folks. Dictate of Erebos, the most expensive rare in the set, decides to actually show up today. Uh, that sucker is over 10 bucks a pop now for a rare, not even a mythic. I know, I know. That's crazy. And the Siren and Angry Cat Warriors is our common foil. Okay, as we continue here into the journey, we will continue with our journey into the darkness. And a... <laughs> I, I don't know why I just howled like a fox. I apologize to everybody. So, we are looking at two Sages, we got two Ajani's, and two Word. that's... <laughs> sometimes this crap is just... Y you can't help but be suspicious sometimes. Dawnbringer with a swarm of a gigantic giant. Sometimes the probability of some of these pools or the order of how these things unfold, it really is kind of a weird, creepy thing. Sometimes it is really weird. Agus of the Gods with a... Pr actually, one of the better common foils in the set. Impressive Raids was one of the top selling commons in Journey in the Knicks back in the days. Back in the day when Rudy used to ride his bike three miles in the snow. And he had his tactics next to him for that one dollar rare. Mm. Why don't y'all come down to the basement? I'll give you a one dollar rare. Alright folks, we got the Cockatrice, Swarm Underworld, and Master of the Five Dollar Feast. And a creepy merfolk foil common. Come on, God, I want to get a God Pack on camera so badly, you guys. You have no idea how epic that would be. King Makar for the... God, Lee. So we're getting a uh, third copy now of some of the rares in two boxes. We're getting... Actually, we could be getting play sets of some of these rares. Harness by Force again. The rate we're going, we could be looking at uh, three and four copies of some rares. We could be looking at full-blown play sets. Now, of course, if we can get a foil version, that would be a lot nicer. And Twin Flame again. Jeez, knockoff Splinter Twin. Feeling the jealousy today, huh? That's kind of on the, the creepy side. Alright. Colossal Spiteful Underworld and the Broodmaster. I gotta have the Hydra. Wouldn't be magic. God, wait. So I think now we're just trying to see how many of the same rares we can get. Is that kind of our goal of our life? Dictative. I think that's number three or four now. That's pretty much our goal at this point. Ah, uh, I'm waiting for some spicy mythics here. That's what would be nice. Battlefield again. Okay. Spicy mythics. Come on, folks. Spicy mythics. Rid of lightning. And dictate. Is that like number three? Or number four? I don't even know how many times we've gotten that. Well, creepiness definitely continues on the duplicate box opening here. Kind of on the strange sign. And godsend. Finally, one of my old favorite artifacts, Equipment Cards. Oh, man, I loved Godsend when it came out. That was a really hot uh, artifact equipment, man. That was a really cool card. Still love that artwork, by the way. And Mana Confluence times two. Okay, now it's all the spicy. It's weird how you, it's like, in a, it's like it's in pockets. It feels like it comes in, like, clusters. You guys notice that? And Creepy Rudy Warrior. Nobody, and, oh, come on. Foil Rare. Set us in tactics. Well, we're at three foil rares. I'm not going to call it that's it for that because we got two foil rares in the last box with some weird shenanigans. So, and Temple of Milady. Okay, so a nice little abandon, a little off center. So you have two Epiphanies, two Temple of Miladies, like duplicates of all your mythics. Sometimes these openings are just plain and simply creepy, everybody. Dictate Twin Gods. So I said, sometimes they're just literally weird. Very, very bizarre openings at times. All right, and Temple... <laughs> our third Temple of Milady. Wait, Epiphany. I've got... Oh, my God. Three temples in two boxes. Not very... Not not bizarre at all, folks. King Makar. I think that's the fourth King Makar rare we've gotten in two boxes. I literally think we've gotten four King Makars. Four of the same rares in two boxes. Revel. That's the second one. I remember that. Super weird, you guys. Super flipping weird, man. All right, folks. And Temple. What? 
No. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How many? Wait a minute. Is that five Temple of Epiphanies? No. Something launching the fleet. Do I, okay, I gotta stop. I gotta count it. I gotta count it, folks. That just seems a little... That I, I feel like we're getting a little wackadoodle here, folks. God, King Macars. How many... There's another King Macar. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm hallucinating. Oh my god. Maybe I'm not. Maybe we actually did. Another King Macar. So wait a minute. One, two, three, four. So we got a play set of Temple of Miladies. We got two King Macars. Or, I, why do I keep saying the same temple? I don't know why I keep saying that. There's another King Macar. It's just, there's another King Macar. <laughs> this is just so flippin' creepy, man. Like, sometimes you just gotta stop and go, wait, what? Okay, so we got... <laughs> we got a play set of King Macars and two temples. Alright, resume. That... <laughs> is that not the creepiest stuff you've ever seen, man? Harness by force, terrible. Isn't that weird? So I, I, sorry to stop there, I just, this is super bizarre, man. Can't plan that stuff out. Spawn of garbage. Sometimes people are like, Rudy, how does Rudy come up with these ideas? I'll be honest with everybody. You can't come up with how amazing and how hilarious some of the weird things that just naturally happen. The, the reality is better than the scripted. Always remember that, folks. In the same flipping battlefield with the same blood crazed creeper common. I tell everyone the same thing. The real reality of randomly doing stuff has better results than trying to the fake stuff. Heroes Bane. I know that's tough for some people to realize, but it always it, it's true. It's flipping true, man. Silence believers again. Well, we've only got a couple packs left. I'm really hoping for our mythics were really weak on this box. I mean, I'd like to get something else. Are we deciding if that's good or not yet? Ha <laughs> ha. Alright, alright, alright. Here we go. And extinguish all hope. Well, we got you already. And we got a foil version. I don't know how many more of the same flipping version of that card we need. Just laying it out there. And say, oh my god. The third time, the third of the same mythic. Really? Three mythics of the exact same thing in two boxes. <laughs> That's dumb. Skybind. Well, folks, the very last pack. Uh, Tyler, I, I, I don't know. Did you do good? I don't even know what happened this opening. And the polymorph rush. I, did you do good? I don't even know if you did good. You got, this was just weird, man. Four, just, this is just weird. I don't know, man. Thanks for watching, folks. I, this is just slapmeinthetesticle.com.